All right, everyone, we got 13 orders going out for 477 on eBay, and I got two on Poshmark, so let's hop into it, guys. What's going on, everybody? My name is Marcus. Welcome back to another video. If you guys follow my other YouTube channel, you would have seen that I got into a wreck yesterday and totaled my car. I almost died. Thank the good Lord that I'm alive still. I don't have a car anymore, so I'm driving around in a rental, which kind of sucks because the rental car is so nice. It's a Jeep Compass Trailhawk, man. That thing is nasty, man. But hey, you know, it is what it is. I'm just so thankful to be alive. All I got is a scrape on my shin. Um, literally totaled my car, guys, and that's all I got. I'm so thankful to be alive, guys. The car went airborne, twirling in the air, rolling, smashed everything, but that's neither here nor there. You guys are here for reselling content. So I'm going to show, um, I'm going to, if you guys want to see what the wreckage look like, uh, there's a link for my other channel down below. It is a Christian channel. Fair warning. If you're not a Christian, don't subscribe. Don't watch the content. Um, but if you're interested in it, there's a link down below in the description. So I'm going to show you guys what sold, uh, yesterday, 13 items, um, or 13 items on eBay and two on Poshmark. Um, really been trying to just get these sales going on Macari. Keep getting a lot of likes, but not a lot of traction. So the first item I got going out is this J Crew button up extra small men's slim fit shirt that sold for 15 bucks. Now, I know that's not a really great sales price, right? But here's the thing too, guys. Uh, I did a coaching call for a guy from the UK. Um, if you guys are interested, you can book me for one hour. Hit me up on Instagram. You don't have to join my Patreon. You can hire me for an hour. I'll give you a story view. You can ask me as many questions as you want to for an hour. Usually goes over just a tiny bit. Uh, Cause when I get going, I get going. But um, I did this story view for this guy in the UK who has really great items, quality items. Lots of uh, Patagonia Cinchilla snaps, uh, Patagonia jackets, North Face jackets, North Face hoodies, a lot of outdoor wear. But his buy, his buy cost is so high, so he's paying like $12 for an item. What are you doing up there, Michael? He's paying like $12 for an item just to then turn around and sell it for like 29 bucks, which is not horrible. But we did uh, we used the eBay fee calculator for the UK to check what his net was on each of those items, and it was only like six bucks. So your buy cost really truly matters. What you pay for an item matters, and the reason why I say that is because it doesn't matter what you paid for an item when the sales cost is the sales cost. You can't change what an item sells for. Can you list it higher than what it goes for? Yes, but you will slow your sales down tremendously. So um, I don't recommend you do that. What I do recommend you trying to do is buy stuff for as low as you can. I pay $1.44 per item. So $1.44 on a $15 sales price, it's still not making boatloads of money, but I'm also more than quadrupling, five times my money, my profit on that. So uh, you gotta make sure that you're buying your inventory for the least that you can so you can make the most money you can. And then spend more time sourcing. Don't buy J. Crew button ups. Uh, next item is American Eagle jeans. 15, 3, 4, 2, 15. No, 4, 3, 2. 15, 4, 3, 2. These um, are men's American Eagle jeans. They are a size 31, 30, and they'll sell for $25. Like I said, I paid $1.44 per item, so that's a pretty good return on investment. What's the next item? Next item is Vintage Notre Dame sweatshirt 16257. These are one of the items that I pick up at the bins where I source at uh, that nobody else picks up. Vintage 16257. And this inventory system, guys, you guys can use this. Uh, all the links for every product I use are down below in the description. Uh, just a vintage Notre Dame sweatshirt. It's got stains on it, so that's why somebody didn't buy it. As you can see, um, or you, I guess you can't see because it's folded up. But you can see it on the main photo. That is a men's large in itself for a best offer of 20 bucks. So what do you guys, I think I asked this in the last, um, the last video. What are you guys passing up on that you shouldn't be and i know you don't know that right but are you looking up everything a lot of store reviews i've been doing lately um which is kind of sad to say a lot of people are not looking up comps 
right? Now, keep in mind, I don't look up all comps, so I understand. But that's because I continue to pick up the same things over and over again. But if you're new to this, if you're just getting started, you need to look up comps, guys. You must look up comps. Don't buy anything at the thrift store without looking up the comps. Here's an example. This is a Patagonia Cinchilla Snap. If you see that number, 12164, that thing should have sold already. But just because it's got a great sell through doesn't mean it's always going to sell on time, right? So this item is more than a year old. Why hasn't it sold yet? There's something going on with that listing that it hasn't sold. But just because you get a great brand doesn't mean you get 100% sell through all the time. So uh, look up comps. Do yourself a favor. Make sure what you're picking up has the sell through that you're looking for or else you're going to be hanging on to a lot of inventory when you need all your money back right now. Okay, I got this crispy boy crew it says bud light on there uh, i'm not sure what crispy boy crew is i just picked it up because the quality felt really good and uh i looked up the comps and it was going for like 35 bucks so i listed mine for 35 bucks and that's what it sold for um took a little bit to sell took probably about five months to sell um so you know keep in mind to sell through on items but uh it did have 100 percent sell through so just because something has 100 percent sell through doesn't mean it's going to sell in 90 days that took five months uh still okay with that though um 35 dollars i'll take that uh so let me show you guys real quick these numbers on the i ended the offside ads today if you guys are aware i started the offside ads again last week and i looked at my my payouts yesterday there's all these charges for these offside ad fees right which i understand it's pay-per-click but they're not generating any action so i canceled the i canceled the i closed out the offside ads okay so we get into this looking at this this is an offside ads for a save a lot employee shirt offside ads for victoria's secret Offside ads for this Las Vegas hoodie. Offside ads Moose Creek flannel. Offside ads first form shirt. Offside ads nautical pants. All these have been completed, but none of these ended ended in a sale. So all this, all these offside ads, like wow, yeah, it's doing what it's supposed to do. None of them resulted in a sale. So I just ended the the offside ads campaign. Let me show you the actual margins on or the metrics on this particular offside ads campaign. So I'm looking at the dashboard. Go to offsite ads and I'll show you guys. So 12 items sold total, right? Out of both campaigns that I ran. The trial one, I started on the 7th and I ended on the 13th. I sold two items, but I paid $27 in ad fees for $61 total gross sales. That's gross sales, not even net. So I'm paying a whopping almost $30 almost to make $60 in sales. So that's not added up. So I just canceled it. I'm gonna just rock it out, man. I can do without the, the Google ads taking all my money. So um, what are you guys' experience with this so far? I know that last week, a lot of people had said that they didn't really have any experience with it. I know that some people had only tried it because they had a $100 free voucher. I don't think it's worth it, guys. I really don't think it's worth it. I could just continue promoting at the rate that I'm promoting at on eBay and just do without the Google uh, Google sales because that stuff's killing me, Smalls. Um, next item is a Ann Taylor Loft shirt. Don't buy Ann Taylor Loft, guys. 2252. 2252. And I wonder why I bought this shirt because this is, this is around the time that I decided to change my metrics. So I don't know why I bought this. I decided in September of last year to uh, pick up items that sell for more money. This ain't one of them. Women's extra large shirt sold for 10 bucks. Let's see, 2362, 2362. This is when I pivoted. So this item right here does go for a lot of money. Filson uh, Salvage Rail Splitter Jeans. Now, the tag says 225 on them, right? I had them listed for 200. But since uh, I just totaled my car yesterday and I need a new car, your boys, everything must go. So I accepted $125 on this offer. I'll still make 56 bucks profit on it, which is okay. Um, I doubled my money. I paid $40 a piece for these. So is it the greatest returns on it? No, 
but did I lose money on it? No. So at the end of the day, right now, I got to get rid of some stuff so I could buy a car. Um, next item is some Big Star jeans. 21, 111. 21, 111. Big Star is one of those things that sells all the time. Sometimes it sells for okay money. Sometimes it does not. These are what size? Women's 28, they sell for 25 bucks. So pretty decent sell. I paid a dollar 44 for these at the bins and it took about three months to sell. So big shout out to everyone that is subscribed to the second channel. Just hit 5,000 subscribers today. That channel's grown so fast. I'm very, very thankful for it. Um, it will surpass this channel without a doubt. Um, I just I just because I put a lot more effort into it that is going to grow by the good grace of God because it's all God it's not me so big shout out to everyone all my Christian brothers and sisters that support me over there you guys are the best so like I said I do have the individual hourly coaching rate you can hit me up on Instagram and book a session with me but also do run the Patreon uh, the Patreon is a much better deal guys you pay $30 a month uh, and you guys get me you know a morning call every morning and then you could just ask questions throughout the day there's resources in inside the group like we have a lister we have multiple listers inside the group there's like three or four listers in there with teams of listers uh to provide value for you guys there's multiple resources inside the group uh you know to help you guys grow your business and identify items on the fly vintage items things like that bolo brand list all types of goodies in there hours of pre-recorded footage to help you guys as well and it's only $30 a month so seven day free uh, trial down below guys if you want to check it out consider joining if not hey that's cool no problem just continue come coming to the videos and I'll provide as much value as I can for free um got some Wrangler jeans here these are men's 34 32 so for 20 bucks got a Brixton brand it's like a lifestyle brand Brixton company uh sold for 25 dollars it's a men's medium got these gap jeans here these are women's size 10 so for 10 bucks or 20 bucks i'm sorry women's size 10 so for 20 bucks got these rock and republic jeans those are a men's 36 34 those sold for 20 bucks i got this this is why i picked this stuff up guys now this didn't sell for that much money this is a Mercy Hospital sweater. It's not a, it's like a polyester, like sort of cardigan, open front cardigan with Mercy on the chest. This is why I picked this stuff up. This person just got a job at Mercy and they need a uniform. So they sent me an offer for 12 bucks and I accept it because I've got a lot of Mercy pieces listed in my store and I find a bunch of it at the bins because the Mercy Hospital is one of the biggest hospitals. Um, I don't know if you want to call it a franchise, but there's so many of them around me. Um, and the one, one in my town wasn't here two months ago. They just bought out the hospital, one of the hospitals in my region. So they're, I think they're growing nationwide. So pick the stuff up guys, employee stuff. It doesn't have to be mercy hospital stuff, but it can be a hospital that's near you. Somebody's going to get a job there and they're going to need a uniform. Somebody's going to be working at a job, tear their shirt, get a hole in it. They're going to need a new one. I, I sell employee stuff all the time, guys. Pick it up. Um, there's going to be no shortage of it at your bins, and there's going to be no shortage of people that need that stuff. So really do recommend it. McDonald's probably sells the best for me out of all places besides this Mercy Hospital stuff. This is another employee item. I listed this two days ago. It's a Continental Tires. I can't tell, but there's the C-O-N. Continental Tires um, employee shirt. The place, this one is... Uh, located in Mount Vernon, Illinois in particular, which is fairly close to me. Um, here's the back of it so you guys can see. Um, they just make tires. They started in uh, Germany, originated in Germany in the 1800s, uh, and they moved over here um, to Mount Vernon, Illinois. Somebody bought this shirt. I had a list for 20 bucks. Somebody bought it um, two days in, um, and now they got an employee shirt to wear. So don't pass up on employee stuff, guys can't stress it enough somebody's out there walking past free money well i guess it ain't free you still gotta buy it but somebody's out there walking past easy money uh so now i'm gonna get into these two poshmark sales been using vendu for a while now guys make sure that if you're using vendu your your marketplaces are connected because sometimes um 
you'll have to shut your computer down or you have to restart the computer or you have to refresh your uh, Vendu. Make sure it's connected when you do that so that way your items get delisted. But there's a link down below, 25% off your first month on Vendu. I've been making $1,000 extra a month right now. Anybody can use an extra $1,000. Tell me you can't. Tell me you can't use an extra $1,000. I bet you I could use it on a new car. Um, so yeah, guys, if you want to try it out, link down below, you can check it out. Let me show you these two items, guys. Okay, so this is one of the items I sold on uh, Poshmark, Mott and Bow. Extra large sweatshirt. This sold for 21 bucks. Thing is, guys, this item was listed. Look at that SKU number. This item was listed almost two years ago. This is the most recent SKU number that I have. Um, 23392, so way, 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 way long ago. So would I pick this item up again? Probably not, even though it sold for 21 bucks, I wouldn't pick it up again because look how long it took to sell. I could have used that money and whatever I spent on this item, uh, $1.44, I could have flipped that $1.44 into thousands of dollars by now if I had just bought the right item. So I wouldn't pick it up again. The Levi's 505 jeans. They sold very quickly, but they only sold for 15 bucks because I took the best offer. Men's 34.30. As I told you, I'm accepting all offers. So uh, not all offers, all reasonable offers. So um, $15 is reasonable enough for me to accept the offer. So, you know, I just got to do what I got to do, guys, to, uh, you know, get me a new car right now. So really appreciate you guys watching the channel. Really appreciate you guys' support. That's going to do it for this one. Catch you guys on the next one. Until then, let's make this cash, guys. Peace.